Hi, it's Phil and Mel in the morning. We are very excited for the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. It's coming up Saturday, May 18th at First Ward Park in Uptown Charlotte. If you haven't joined a team yet, join our team. It's Phil and Mel's K104.7 Curators. You can do it on the K104.7 website. It's k1047.com. Join us in the walk, wear your superhero t-shirt, put on a cape, or if you can't be there on the 18th, make a donation and support this very worthy cause. And we're joined today by Paige Crone and a retired police chief, Captain? Captain. Captain <laughs> Michelle yes. Hummel, I gave yes. you a promotion. Yes, <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, and uh, the uh, American Cancer Society has joined forces with uh, Mecklenburg County and Cops for the Cure. Yes. And uh, this is something that just uh, popped up on our radar, so we need you to tell us more about that. Right, so Cops for the Cure is an organization that um, was born of survivors within uh, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, either uh, people that had cancer or had someone close to them that battled cancer. I'm a cancer survivor. I'm kind of one of the founding members and so it was developed to um, give uh, back to people and to provide a tailored response to whatever it is that they need. Um, healing, battling cancer is very stressful so our organization looks at what can we do to take away that that stress. So whether it's a little money for a bill or it's uh, yard work or um, housework or a ride to, to chemo whatever it is that takes away that stress for that family is what we try to provide yeah because it's those little things that can stress you out right. and when you're trying to get better you need to focus on your body not on oh i got to do some laundry or whatever so or who's going to get the kids off the bus or who's going right. to get them to basketball practice that day-to-day -day kind of, of stuff that That's transportation awesome. i've learned is really really important yes, because so once absolutely. you've gone through a treatment you're yes. not getting behind the wheel of a car right, right. Yeah, so yeah, you, do, you, you do need those rides to and from right. uh, your exactly. treatment center yeah exactly so what kind of a presence will Cops for a Cure have at the uh, Relay for Life? So our, the truck pull is going to be on Brevard Street. We're going to be between 9th and 7th Street. We're going to start at 2 o'clock. We'll go 2 to 8. So we're going we're gonna to overlap with Relay for Life. We're super excited to be joining them this year and combining our events together. Um, and so we'll start the pull at 2. And they'll start their event at 5. And uh, the truck pull is uh, teams of 8. Uh, all female, all male. So and they're really teams. pulling the truck. Oh, really, really pulling, pulling the truck. Teams That's of awesome. eight. Awesome. And when you say and truck, what kind it's of? It's the pink lady. Oh, fire a big truck. fire truck. It's a big fire okay, truck. Okay, not just like it's an F-150. Really F big, heavy fire truck. <laughs> big old truck. <laughs> it's a big the, old truck. It's the yeah. one we saw on the St. Patrick's Day parade. Right, right. Yes, absolutely. So they're going to be actually pulling the truck. Yes, we pull the truck 100 feet. Two pulls, fastest pull wins. Awesome. Three categories. So I'm familiar really, with this type of event. Yeah, it's a really great. That's it's really awesome. fun. And that starts yeah. at what time? At two o'clock. At two o'clock on yes. Saturday, May 18th at First Ward Park Uptown. And the link to register is on the Relay for Life uh, website. So you can link into us and go ahead and get registered. We'd prefer that people register ahead of time. Um, for the event so we know how many people are going to be coming because we're limited to 60 teams. Okay. okay. And this is going to be a good event for the kids to come out and see. Oh, absolutely. Because I, I have seen people pull things like this mm -hmm. and kids will freak out when they see this because <laughs> it's so hardcore. And we actually yeah. let the kids pull the truck too. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, we do a kid pull. We do a survivor so pull. We do a kid pull. It's, it's great. It's a lot of wow. fun. So kids are going to like that yes. and then everything at Relay for Life that starts at 5 is going to be family friendly too. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. We're going to have a great time We've got um, the NFL Players Association coming out to help us do the warm-up at 5. Cool. We'll be walking around the track. We've got all kind of gifts and prizes and wonderful sponsors. We've got food trucks galore. Awesome. Um, at 9 o'clock, we're going to change things up a little bit and go into like a little bit of a party in the park mode. We've got Inspire the Fire band coming, and they're going to play for us. They were on America's Got Talent. I think the seventh season. Seventh season, I they think. They were yep. finalists. Yeah. And so we're really excited about that. It's going to be a great concert. And, you know, thanks to Beasley, too, because we could not do it without the support of our great media partner, Beasley. Well, we're excited to help. And if you do not have a team and you want to join our team, you can still do that. It's the K1047 Cure Satyrs. You don't have to wear superhero costumes. We're going to come up with something superhero-esque mm -hmm. and festive. <laughs> we'll and you can do whatever you want to do. But uh, if you want to join our team, we would love to have you. And we want to help you know raise these funds so we can help find a cure for cancer. Now, if somebody can't be at the Relay for Life on Saturday, May 18th, what else can folks do to get involved? Well, there's so many ways to get involved. First of all, if you want to donate and you can't be there, you can go to RelayForLife.org backslash Charlotte NC and donate. But we need 
volunteers. We need people. One of the biggest things, obviously research is the cornerstone to the American Cancer Society, but a lot of what we do is um, patient service focused. And so in Charlotte, we're always looking for drivers for our road to, recover pro road to recovery program. And these patients need rides to and from life-saving treatment. So yeah. this is really important to get the volunteers involved. And we also have events making strides for breast cancer, and we have a gala. So there's a lot going on in Charlotte with the American Cancer Society in many ways for you to get involved. Now, if somebody wants to get involved, if they want to volunteer, if they've got the time, can they go to RelayForLife.org and find information there? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Yes. So if you can volunteer, that would be great. If you can join our team, we'll make you a rock star. You can hang out with us. Whatever <laughs> you can do is going to help the cause in the fight against cancer. Yes. Well, oh, I did want to say, we need volunteers for day of. Okay. So All right. Great. I think we need probably about 30 more volunteers. Okay. So sign up and join us on May 18th. We have a volunteer coordinator. You can work with somebody to find the, the time that works for you. For great. The 18th. Awesome. Great. Everybody has been touched by cancer in some way, so please, if you can, join us in the fight against cancer. You can find out more about RelayForLife.org or go to K1047.com. We'll see you at First Ward Park.